Welcome back everyone to Twisted Gaming TV. Glad you're here. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Killer Instinct Arcade 1UP, the review exclusive here only first. So we're gonna go over many things on this new cabinet. The one thing we are not gonna go over is the online features because we haven't tested them yet. We will do that in a video in a couple weeks and we'll go over the online features. I wanted to separate the two from online and offline because back in the day, it didn't have online gameplay. So we're just doing the offline today. So we're gonna go over many things. We're gonna check out different features, how it runs and my points and views and all of that. So I hope you enjoy this honest, no BS review of the Killer Instinct Arcade 1UP cabinet. Let's go! Alright, cab design. Here we go. Here's the marquee. It does look washed out a little bit. Um, the black, you know, the light shines through it. But it's not really a deal breaker because we're talking about a video game, so you know. You can get these replaced or something from a printing company, I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know what I mean? The control panel, okay? Now the control panel, it's not slanted, because I think they were gonna do it and I don't know what happened. Again, not a deal breaker. It's pretty flushed right here, um, just like the original arcade, you know? You're gonna have you know this piece on the side but the thing with the arc original arcade is yes you do got more room so your hand can rest here and and play right well go over here you know it's a tighter spot but you can still rest your hand here um but the screen looks good there is no dead pixels Okay, there's no dead pixels at all on this one. Now, I'm not gonna say when you get one, you might have a dead pixel, because that's just the way it is, you know? Not everything's perfect. Um, but this one, this screen looks really good. Um, the coin door. Coin door is pretty dope, I like this. Better than the previous coin doors where they had, you know, just a sticker one. This one's uh, hard plastic. It almost fooled me because I wanted to push these um, when I first got it, you know, but I couldn't. Um, now, of course, some people, they're gonna either put a real coin door or they're gonna make these light up somehow. I mean, it's possible, you know what I mean? But the cabinet looks pretty good. Um, the rare looks pretty good too. I like that right there. The sides are all black on the sides of the riser. Over here, spinal, looks pretty good. Now the color might not be exact from the original arcade. Um, the control panel, um, the color is off from the original. The original, all this right here is a little lighter, but Arcade 1UP said they had to kind of redesign this um, from the original. Uh, it might have to do with because Midway and Nintendo own the artwork from the original. I, I don't know, you know, because they are owned by Microsoft now, uh, Killer Instinct is. But uh, the control panel, it looks pretty dope though. I like it. Uh, you got your live button and your volume and your headphone jack whoever does that. Um, the controls, I will say on this game, I suggest you um, replacing them. 
uh, and then also the speakers they're not that powerful and they kind of feel muffled out on the uh, the high volume so you can get a computer speakers uh, with a USB or plug or whatever and and plug them into the back of the screen but if it's a USB or whatever don't plug it in the screen use an external cord for that because you don't want to blow the PCB you know who knows you know um, but it looks really good I, I, I like it you know um, they did a good job on for what they have so the cabinet looks pretty cool man I like it I would compare the side art to the original but it's in the middle and I don't want to drag it out but if you see over here the control panel see it is different and I'll put pictures side by side of it Okay, so I want to make a great point here. Right now, we are looking at the Arcade 1UP. The left, we got it on scan lines, and on the right, we have no scan lines. Now, I want to point out that the video on the right with no scan lines, yes, it looks better on YouTube video, right? But in person, with it, with scan lines, looks way better. The reason why is because Killer Instinct was made for a CRT monitor, right? So it looks smooth on a CRT. Now, in person on the Arcade 1UP, if you have no scan lines on, it looks a little pixelated, right? You put the scan lines on the Arcade 1UP in the options, it looks just like the Arcade did, where the, the graphics are smoother. Now... Some people may like the scan lines, and some may not like them. But I will say, having it on scan lines gets super, super exact like the arcade original. Okay, sound test. This is the sound from the arcade 1UP speakers. I can hear it kind of struggling. 
struggling on the sound, right? It's a little, you know, washed out on the sound because the speakers are cheap, right? But here's another option, okay? Listen to this real quick, and I'm gonna show you another option. Now check out, without the RK 1UP speakers and Amazon $20 USB speakers plugged into it, okay? Check this out. Okay, that was the Arcade 1UP speakers. It, it does sound muffled out, okay? You can buy a USB computer speakers to plug in and listen to the difference of this crap. Have the bass and everything. You, you can even adjust the sound of it. So the sound is in the, the cabinet. You just gotta have the right speakers, know what I'm saying? So buy these. Now there's a USB plug that you can put, you can plug this in on the back of the monitor. Do not do that, okay? You might blow your PCB. So use external power for that, okay? And I'll show you the little setup I got. Okay, so if we look back here, I got a speaker here, speaker here, computer speakers, and a subwoofer with sound right here with the knob. Okay, and up here, there's a USB where you can plug these type of speakers in, but I would not do it because you could blow something up here. So what you do is you hook it all up and then just run it out the back. See what I'm saying? Yeah, this looks a little ugly right here, but it's just rigged up. See what I'm saying? It's USB, but external power it. Don't power it from the screen. And it sounds way better than the RK 1UP speaker. It's not muffled out or anything. Now those videos I just played, I was pulling off an Ultra Combo and an Ultimate Combo um, on the Arcade 1UP versus the original Arcade. Now let's go over a few things. The controls, Arcade 1UP versus the original KI. The control panel on the Arcade 1UP is 18 inches wide, okay, in width. The original control panel on the KI was 27 inches, okay? It was much wider, you know, because that was the original size arcade machine. Arcade 1UP is a 3-4 skill, okay? So there's way more room on the original, of course. We all know that, okay? Also on the controls, the 1UP joystick to button width, 6 inches. So if you measure the... Uh, uh, all the way to the joystick 
and all the way across the right to the buttons. It's six inches, okay? Now the original uh, Killer Instinct joystick to button width was seven and a half inches, okay? So you got an uh, inch and a half more on the original arcade. Now, if you look at the picture on the button layout and the joysticks, you can see the arcade one-up joystick is closer to the buttons than the original Killer Instinct, where the joystick is further away from the buttons, okay? Now, <clears throat> is this a big deal? It could be for most. Is it for me? Yes, it is, and I'm gonna explain why. Now we're looking at the picture uh, of the original Killer Instinct control panel on the top and the arcade one-up control panel on the bottom. You can see the difference, okay, how they're spread out. Now, I will say this, personally on me, since I have been playing the Killer Instinct arcade forever, years and years and years and years, okay, on the original arcade. Well, I go to the arcade one up, and when I'm trying to pull off combos or this and that, you know, since the buttons and the joystick uh, with are a little different, sometimes my hands are getting confused because they know the original control panel, so then I have some issues on the arcade one-up one. <clears throat> now, I will say this, pulling an Ultra on the original uh, arcade cabinet, I never miss an Ultra. I can always pull it off instantly. If I want to do an Ultra combo, I can do it. If I want to do an Ultimate combo, I can do it right off. I never miss, okay? Now, on the arcade one-up one, it took me like three times to pull an ultra uh, combo off because, like I said, my hands know where they're supposed to be on the original and on the arcade one-up when I'm trying to pull the ultra combo off, my hands are close to the joystick and I don't know, it, it, it's a little harder for me to do, right? <clears throat> now, when I did the ultimate combo where orchid you know shows her boobs or whatever it it took me probably four tries to do that one just again just because the controls are more spread out on the original and i'm used to that one now it's not a deal breaker for some people because you're not playing on an original arcade all the time like i am right you're just going to get this now and start playing, and and you know you'll you're automatically adjust to it. Um, but for me, it's a little tougher because I'm used to the original. And then when I go to a control panel that's smaller with the the buttons, you know, and the joystick a little closer together, it's a hit or miss. Like for an example, if you were to come over my house and play Killer Instinct on my arcade original machine. I'm 90% chance gonna whoop you, okay? Easy, hands down, I'm gonna whoop you. Now, if you come over to my house and play me against on the arcade one up, it's a 50-50% chance that I'm gonna beat you or you're gonna beat me right now because I have to basically, um, I have to get used to the control panel change. Now, another thing is the buttons are different right and the joystick the original arcade is hap controls okay and the arcade one up is you know their controls the, the downgraded version well i'm used to hap okay so they're they're more tighter and, and this and that you know and, and the arcade one up is a little bit more looser you know what i mean it's it's different feel okay so what i'm saying to you is you need to change out the controls if you're hardcore Killer Instinct fan can change out the controls on the arcade one. It's the first thing you need to do. All right. Now, some people will just buy this for, you know, just to try it out or play it or, or whatever, you know, and you might not want to change the controls. It might not bother you. But a true KI fan and player are going to want to automatically change out the controls. Like I said, on my original, I can pull off any moves instantly, just like that, right? On the arcade one up, it takes me a little bit more time. I'm going to have to get used to it, okay? 
so I can get better at the game on the arcade one-up version just because of the controls. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's on the controls, so let's go to the next part. I want to talk about one more thing that people are talking about. There's a debate on the color of the buttons and the joysticks from the originals. Okay, um, the arcade one-up has a baby type blue buttons, right? And the original, a lot of people may know and a lot of people may not, okay? A lot of people think they know, but they do not, okay? I know. The original KI buttons and joysticks were dark blue. They weren't light blue. No, they were not. And I'm posting up the picture right now to prove it. This is the flyer for the KI and the KI2 machine before they were released from Midway and Nintendo. The KI-1 machine had dark blue joysticks and buttons. They didn't have light blue. Okay, so don't tell, let anybody tell you any different because they don't know what they're talking about. Now, the Killer Instinct 2 did have the baby blue joysticks and buttons. So I'm hoping I clear that up with people. Now we're going to talk about the artwork of the cab compared to the original arcade. So... Um, it's off a little bit, okay? Um, just like on Spinal's uh, sword, right, on the arcade one-up, it's missing textures and a hint of blue on his sword. As the original arcade, it had more texture on the sword, and it was, a you know, kind of a shade of a bluish, uh, grayish, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that is off. And the reason why I think this is is because back in the day, they had a different printing process. If you go to original arcade machine and get real close to it, it's the, the graphics is made of little dots, okay? They don't do that no more. Now when they print stuff, it's, it's just a full, you know, print. Back then, it was little bitty dots that made up the picture. And then when you move backwards, it looked like it was a full print, okay? So it's hard to match that kind of stuff. Back in the day, they had different printers, different things. So it's kind of hard to do that. Um, but all in all, I think they did a, a, a pretty good job of trying to match it. You know, a 20 plus game, you know. So I think they did a good job on that. Now the marquee, like I said before, it's washed out. And hopefully in the future they can fix that. Uh, there's other solutions out there. People that can maybe print you one off and it'll work better. But all in all, they did a good job on the artwork compared to the original. Is it going to be perfect? No, it's not. Um, because the Killer Instinct across the original arcade machine on the bottom of the control panel, the Killer Instinct logo is more of a bluish type color than the arcade one-up. You know, it's just a hit or miss. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so Killer Instinct 1, Killer Instinct 2. You go over to the left, press the button, here's your options. Difficulty, blood level, track mode, finishing moves, display warning, blood color. You can even make it white for kids. Um, ROM version, final 1.7, 1.5 or the classic 1.4 scan lines on or off now if you want to get to the true arcade feel of a CRT monitor you need to have the scan lines on I'm just telling you believe me uh, let's see Killer Instinct 2 go to settings same stuff Battletoads, you know, you can go to the menu also. Ooh, it has blood in here too, huh? And scan lines, of course, if you want. Um, but here's Battletoads for the people that want to. Stomping time! Want to And then you go 
go back to the menu. Now, do I care about Battletoads? Hell no. Don't care. But if you want that, great. Good for you. Um, but here's Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct 2. Okay, my thoughts on the Killer Instinct Arcade 1-Up machine. We're going to go over a few things. First, we're going to go over pros and cons with the Arcade 1-Up machine compared to the original. Okay, the original KI Arcade pros, HAP controls, authentic cabinet, speaker quality, original Ultra 64 intro, original artwork, bigger control panel, you know, easier to play on. Cons, cost $2,000 and up in mint condition. Now you may find some cheaper, but they might be junk. Okay, weighs 350 pounds, believe me I know. And they're hard to find. You can't just walk into a store and buy a Killer Instinct original arcade. It's not going to happen. They're very hard to find. Really hard to find. Uh, no Wi-Fi. So you're playing with yourself or a friend that's here. Okay, so there's that. No online players. <clears throat> Maintenance. Very expensive to keep original arcade machine running. Um, even though when I bought the machine, it was running great and stuff, and I had to change out a flyback on a monitor. That was 180 bucks. okay? Anything can break. Uh, and the boards are expensive, too. They go for about 600 and up, so expensive parts. Arcade 1-Up KI. Pros, $699, $700, okay? Easy to move, and it's a space saver, okay? And here's a big one. Emulated to the original. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's 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 pretty wild to be honest with you. Um how do they pull it off? I don't know. Code Mystics. <laughs> Cheers to them, you know. Let's move on. We'll get into more of that in a little bit. Light of control deck, aka Christmas lights. That's the way I call them. I don't like that, but you can turn them off, okay? My mom came over here and checked out the uh, lighted control panel and she thought it was cute, you know, she liked it. <laughs> you know, uh, lighted marquee, even though it's washed out. Um, easy to buy. You can pre-order it online, go in store and order it. Easy to buy, no problem. Wi-Fi enabled. Play online with other players around the world that has an arcade one-up KI. Okay, it's pretty cool. No maintenance needed, okay? There's no maintenance on this, okay? Now, if it ends up breaking later, well, of course, that's that's life. Everything can break, okay? But there's no maintenance on this thing. I like the original arcade. Um, control panel height is good. Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's really good. It's a little higher than the original arcade machine. Um, the original arcade machine is three feet on the control panel. And I want to say this arcade one-up is either 41 or 42 inches in height. I can't remember. Um, cons, cheap controls. Uh, if you're, like I said before, if you're a big KI fan or a player and you love the game and, and stuff, you need to change out the controls. Some people might be happy for what it is. But I suggest, as a KI player myself, <laughs> change out the controls, okay? Speaker quality. The speaker quality, I'll be honest, is, is okay on low, but when you turn it all the way up, it's muffled and it sounds bad. Um, now, I did have a $20 um, USB speakers I put in there, hooked it in the back. Um, now, there is a USB plug, like I said, in the monitor. Don't use that. You might blow out something, you know. Uh, just be safe, right? So you, you plug it. Uh, up individually if you're going to add speakers to it but the sound is in the machine you just got to have the right speakers if you have external speakers on this thing it'll blow you away it, it sounds really good it really does but with the stock speakers in there no it gets muffled out uh, and, and you'll tell believe me repo artwork it's not the original artwork um they, they had to do redo the control panel and a few other things, you know. Why? You know, probably because of the size. 
and the Nintendo and Midway was on it. I don't know, you know. Cramped controls. Like I said this before, they are cramped a little bit, you know. Um, like I said, I explained it earlier. Uh, the original is spread out better. And, you know, is will it bother some people? Maybe not. Does it bother me? Yes, it does. Because I'm just used to the original arcade um, spread out of the controls. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's a hit and miss. Depends on who you are. Does the machine run good like the arcade original? It does. It really does. Um, I'm very impressed with that. I can't believe it. You know, because uh, people that had, um, you know, you try to do it on hyperspin or pi or, or, or certain things, you know, it, it, it doesn't run. It doesn't run good. You know, it, it's either glitchy or... or it's, it's crap. This runs good. It sure does. I mean, just like when you've seen the video of doing the ultra combo side by side, the speed is there. It has the full speed. There's no slowdown on it. Um, I mean, I couldn't find anything, uh, you know, on the speed going slow or, or, or choppiness or anything. It, it runs just like the actual original arcade. Now, I will say, though, when I first turned it on and seen the intro, yeah, it looked a little crappy because it was set on no scan lines, okay? And the original arcade game, Killer Instinct, was made for CRT. CRT stretches out the screen and, you know, it smooths everything out. Put it on scan lines and it looks like the original arcade machine. It, it, it's pretty amazing. Now, of course, it's a... 17 inch screen compared to a 25 to 27 inch original so you know but it's a three three four scale so um but yes it does play good and it, it plays smooth and all that but like i said when you get it or if you do get it or if you don't whatever you're gonna know that you need to change the controls because sometimes it's hard to pull off certain things. I went over this earlier in the video. It's, it's hard to pull off some things. So the controls is a major thing on this kind of game. When you're doing all the combinations and stuff, you need better controls. Okay, these controls just don't do it if you're going to be competing or something. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you're just foo-fooing around with it, well, then those controls are fine. But if, if you're actually going to fight people and, and compete and stuff, you know, online and stuff, you need to change these controls out. I'm just saying, okay? For better gameplay, change out the controls. Upgrade the speakers. Like I said, use USB speakers, but don't use USB port on the monitor so you don't blow out anything, okay? And like I said, use scan line options to smooth out pixels like a CRT does. Looks better, believe me. So next week, I will go live on the channel sometime, okay? And we'll be talking about the Killer Instinct machine. And you can um, be in the chat and ask me any questions about it, and I will answer them, okay? But it comes with KI1, KI2. Uh, it appears to be Battletoads Arcade and Battletoads 8-bit and 16-bit. Uh, the 8-bit and the 16-bit, that's, that's the bonus games or whatever. So pretty much, you know, four games, I guess, um, as I see on here. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Everything runs smooth. It, it, it does. It, it, it runs like the original. But like I said, you may have problems if you don't change out the controls. That's all I'm saying. Major thing on this review is you need to change out the controls, okay? But uh, everything else, it, 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 it looks great. Um, you know, like the marquee, that, you know, that's washed out, like I said. But all in all, would I buy this if I didn't have the original? Most likely. Because I would want the game, you know, close to the arcade as I could get, you know. Um, but I have the original. So would I buy it? No, I would not because I own the original. 
but if I didn't own the original arcade, yeah, most likely I would buy it just to just so I could play the you know Killer Instinct arcade because that's my favorite game, you know. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I always comment back. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can put it in the comments. But I'll go live next week and answer questions about the Killer Instinct Arcade One Up, and also do some more gameplay. You know, it, it's gonna be a little bit till it comes out. You know, um, it says to, to be coming out January. It may come earlier. We don't know. You know, it might show up earlier. Who knows? But we got some time to do more gameplay and go over it more until it releases. So we'll do that. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Ultimate.